Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to send in your Bible questions. And if you do, I'll try to give you a Bible answer. Keep your questions Bible-related, please, because this is a Bible-centered ministry. That's the only thing I'm concerned with is teaching the Word of God, not only on this program, but also on the flagships pro program, which is Scripture verse by verse, teaching through the Bible for over 30 years, verse by verse, from Genesis through Revelation. And you can study all the archives, three complete series going through the Bible at thebibleversebyverse.com. Okay, we have a question from a listener today. Question is this. So if sin leads to sickness, how could a baby become sick with cancer, an innocent child, and pass away? I just don't understand so many things. And I'm saved by grace through faith. I love the Lord. I just don't understand things like that. Well, thank you for the question. And that's tough because little babies and children are innocent. They are not at that age of accountability, and yet they do suffer and die. And it really takes faith to trust God in times like that. But the answers are in the Word of God. First of all, personal sin sometimes is the cause of sickness. Drunkenness can lead to liver problems. Gluttony can lead to heart problems, diabetes. But sickness and death also comes from the sin principle that entered into the world after man sinned. Remember what God said? He warned Adam, in the day that you sin, you will die. And so when man sinned, things, including human bodies, started to fall apart. A little. It took a while at first, but more and more, the life expectancy began to drop. Man started to have trouble, and death was the end result. Little babies are innocent in position before God. When they die, they go to heaven. But they're still tainted with original sin and its effects, as we all are. Jesus became a man and died for our sins to redeem us from the curse of sin, which is death. But sin must run its course in this life. The good news is, when people like you and I receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we also obtain final victory over sin and sickness and death. Your physical body will be raised to live a wonderful new life on the new earth with no sickness and no death. We have to keep an eternal perspective on everything, including the suffering and the death of little children. See the big picture. God takes them to heaven. Their bodies will be raised, just like yours will. If you're a Christian, and you will have eternal health, eternal happiness, because Jesus went to the cross to pay for sin, which caused all this trouble in the first place. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, so long, everyone.